at Antonia Park in Victoria with the Ringwood Vet Clinic Puppy Class. And we're going to talk about picking the right breed of dog for your family. Let's go chat to some of the puppies. I'm here with Casey. Now Casey is a purebred Border Collie and of course she is a beautiful dog and these guys are known to be one of the most intelligent breeds around. But because of that, they require a lot of mental stimulation and a lot of exercise. You can see she's just raring to go. So if you're not able to take one of these guys for a big long walk every day, you're not able to stimulate them mentally with different games and toys, then they're probably not the dog for you. This is Tara, the German Shepherd puppy. Now, she is cute and fluffy at this age, but this little girl can grow to as big as 55 kilos. Now, think about your little kid's weight. They are just not gonna be able to control a dog like this on the lead when they get older and they're an adult. So even if a dog like this was to jump up on a little kid, they just knock them straight over. And that's not really confidence instilling with your child, and it's not a good experience. So probably best to keep big dogs for bigger people. This is Elfie. These are very cute little fluffy dogs and an easy purchase when you're walking around a shopping centre and you spot them in a pet shop. But don't forget that these guys require constant grooming, you know, daily sort of grooming and brushing, otherwise they just end up big mats. So what you need to do is consider all of the upkeep that these guys are going to take, but otherwise they are perfect pets for children. This little bundle is Digby and he, believe it or not, is five months of age. Now, at five months of age, this little chihuahua isn't really gonna grow much bigger. He might put a little bit more fat on, but this is it. So a little dog like this is not a great idea for kids. He's gonna get squashed underfoot. They easily get broken bones. Look how skinny these legs are, they're tiny. So you don't wanna get one of these little guys unless you're gonna be able to supervise them 24 seven with the kids. <laughs> This is Flynn and he's three years old and he has got an athlete's body and after all he is related to the greyhound breed and he's a sighthound so if he sees something going along like a sort of a white fluffy unless he's trained not to go after it he's inclined to want to chase it and these guys can get up to some pretty rapid speeds however what you wouldn't believe is that they're actually couch potatoes well they don't require heaps and heaps of exercise, although Flynn does go for a 5k run every day. So he's a bit of a spoilt fella. And realistically, they do need a walk, a good walk each day. And if they're trained properly, they're not going to chase other small dogs. He's a fantastic pet and they would never bite a child. They're just the most wonderful breed. I love them. This gorgeous dog here is Bentley and he is a Cavalier King Charles Spaniel. Now these guys are fantastic dogs to have with children. They are wonderful in terms of the fact that they don't bite. They're very tolerant to being prodded and played with and they don't require heaps and heaps of exercise. Also, they're pretty low maintenance. They just need to go to the groomers to have their little ears clipped and the feathers on the backs of their legs um, cut from time to time. But overall, they are fantastic dogs. So there you have it. If you consider all these factors, lifestyle, the age of your children compared to the size of the dog and how much time you have to put into maintaining your dog and training it, then you shouldn't go wrong and you'll have a happy and healthy relationship between your children and your family pet.